let's, I'm going to go over a little bit of a, a case study here on a car that I came across with an air conditioner problem. The complaint at the first shop was that there was no AC. Typical swap line, no air conditioning. He basically did the same thing, but recently to the low pressure switch in the circuit. He didn't use an LED test light. He used a standard incandescent test light. The switch, uh, the connector of the low pressure switch. But he, he's a little smarter. He puts a fuse patch lead in into the battery, into one of the sides of the battery, the negative or positive. Then you hook up a, an amp meter. You know, we're set up, all right? We're gonna hook up your battery pack to ground the battery. Now you can do this opposite if you want, but you put up the ground, battery ground, you're gonna take the positive lead of the multimeter, turn the multimeter on, set, make sure it's set for your 10 amp scale, hook it up to the positive side of your jumper pack. If you don't have a reading on there, that means you're probably not hooked up, you better check everything. Basically all he's gonna do now is reconnect the car, you've tested for a drain. Well, in, in all that, or Mitchell, you'll find out how long it takes for the different things to time out. But if you let the car sit, you can also find out the drain. It'll for every circuit in the car how much of a drain there should be. In your One thing you do have to watch out for with air clamps. They're, very, they're actually sensing minute magnetic field around the wire. 